Welcome to the Dystopian Society Gaming Channel. This is the place to watch Let's Plays of a variety of games. So sit back and enjoy. Trial Run Sabotage Destroyer Generator built by Marteau Industries. From automobiles to home radios to government military contracts, Marteau Industries has its fingers in every pie. This is a critical mission. Phenomena, the faithful, this mission introduces a new enemy type, Scourges. <coughs> Tyrone, Sabotage, uh, Locke's Journal. My three new agents succeeded in retrieving the undrawn hand. Despite Sorana Nicastro's interference, now they are en route to Marteau Industries compound with orders to destroy a piece of machinery my informants trace to the site. Machinery that, if I'm correct, plays a role in the company's mysterious project crossroads. Almost as important as the mission itself is the question, will the undrawn hand respond to their action? Alright. This generator Mr. Locke wants us to destroy is just up ahead. From stealing blank cards to destroying machinery. Luck is a strange one, that's for sure. Enough wind jamming. Let's do this job and get out. Easy does it. On the move. This ought to come in handy. Fanatics willing to die for the banished court and its magisters. Acolyte ceremonial daggers are razor sharp, and their dedication to the court is absolute. Shock troops and flankers, the court's scourges move quickly to stun and overwhelm their enemies. Okay, let's get down there and recon. So let's see, what was that? Uh, recon. <coughs> Patrols. So let's try and get Ingrid to charge down those guys. Don't. Uh, Okay. Oh, there's three in that group. Uh, hmm. Oh, four in that group. Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I can take down three at the uh, one time. <laughs> Last war, bullet holes riddle the brickwork, mementos of wars great and small.
I mean, it feels like it shouldn't be that big of a deal to actually sneak through this without fighting. This way. <sighs> Muffled voices reverberate off the thin, thin steel, then stop abruptly. Shadow draws the curtains, then retreats from you. Vox Populi, scrawled on the wall in chalk, a clumsy hammer and sickle on the slogan, Seize your power. Someone has come by with an ink pen and drawn the court's tower insignia over the communist iconography. Enterprise, hundreds of wooden crates line the walls of the vast warehouse below, each stamped with the insignia of Marteau Industry. Let's meet up! Yeah, let's just uh, hammer down those two on the sides and then charge those three and then we should be home clear, I guess. Famous last words and all that. Now you see the guard, and now you don't. Got one down. A letter, typewritten on fine paper. S. We need to have a serious talk about resource allocation. If Lady N is going to keep burning through troops for her hocus pocus horseplay, 
Look at us. You're out of unit being doing cleanup in Marseille. I'm out of squad doing maintenance on the crossroads. And she didn't even deliver the cards. You and I both know this isn't how you run an efficient company. What's done is done, but the next time she wants to go running off after a holy grail or a magic ring, I, she can do it with her own men. Our men have a tower to get to. JTM. Out of the way. Let's move. Today's news. Search continues for aviators kidnapped son. FBI now in wall. Say, what's that over there? Time to earn our bread. Okay, <laughs> that, that didn't go great. Oh. How do you like to taste of lead? And it's time for me to go. Sights. What do you think this generator does? Dunno. But it looks like it's leaking. A lady always needs a quick escape.
Come on, y'all. Well, let's get the heck out of here, then. That's that. Marcho's generator is scrap. Now let's get out of here. I guess this sets back the banished court's plans for the tower. Whatever they are. Ask Locke if you're so curious. Me? I'd rather get rich than get wise. Locke's journal. Marcho's generator is in pieces. And my three new agents are on their way back to the island. They proved they can infiltrate the court outpost and sabotage infrastructure key to the science plan for the tower. Now comes the real test. Will the undrawn hand respond to them as it has to lamplighters for hundreds of years? The Undrawn Hand. The Undrawn Hand reveals a new fate. After every mission, the Undrawn Hand etches the agent's experiences onto its once blank cards. Place these cards onto the agent's tableaus to change the way they fight. Changing fate. Stack cards of the same type on a tableau slot <coughs> to increase their effectiveness. Discard cards to receive ink, which can also be used to bolster the Undrawn Hand's powers. Collect modes of fate on missions to unlock new and better cards. The Companions. When using buff abilities, this agent has 25% chance to have ability cooldowns reduced. You gotta measure a man by the folks around him. It's done, Mr. Locke. Mr. Marcho's generator is a smoldering wreck. No sign of Marteau himself, though. A shame. I was hoping to get a look at the great American industrialist. Be glad he wasn't there. Marto Industries makes a ton of stuff, but it's their weapons division that keeps the lights on. And I hear old Trace personally field tests his prototypes. But your sabotage set back his operations. My informants have confirmed it. Yeah, that'll keep him out of the tower. Though I'm still unclear on the how. I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Try us, why don't you? At the top of the tower, at its crown, sits an energy source. Greater than anything else on Earth. If any of the three court scions got their hands on it, there'd be nothing they couldn't do. This power is both dangerous and unstable, and taking control of it requires preparation. My informants are tracking the court's progress, and they grow closer by the day. That is why your sabotage missions are so critical. They buy us the time we need to reach the tower before the court can complete their preparations and set their plans in motion. But. We can't hold off the court and find the tower at the same time. I need more agents. Who and where, Mr. Locke? There are two, each in different parts of the world. One is a combat medic, Anna Sophia Rodriguez. The other, an assassin, who goes by Celestine. Both are on the court's bad side. Specifically, the court's third leader, Wolfram Strum. It's taken me months of searching to find them. And now, with Strum bearing down, we only have time to rendezvous with one of them. Not both. Fortunately, extracting one agent should buy the other enough time to slip Strum's notice. Until we can find her again. The details of both women's whereabouts are here on the map. Let's get to work. Are you enjoying those cards we stole for you, Mr. Locke? Oh dear. All that trouble for a blank deck and he draws pictures on them. I didn't draw these images, Ms. Erickson. In a sense, you did. Not possible. I always take the utmost care not to damage or alter the pieces I steal. It's not an accusation. The cards of the undrawn hand are working exactly as they're supposed to. You must have done well on your last mission. 
So these are what? Tarot cards? Tarot cards only read one's fate. These cards can change it. I don't believe in fate. Fate is the decisions we make and their consequences. It has no need for your belief, Monsieur Lejeune. It believes in you. So this mysterious tower contains an energy source. Well, it's not as romantic as ancient treasures, but potentially far more valuable. You angling for a piece of the action, slugger? Why not? The court certainly is. And for all Locke's talk of preserving it, I expect he is as well. What kind of energy source can you find in an ancient ruin, though? The next radium, maybe. Who knows? Nothing the eggheads can't do these days. I don't know. Either Locke is crazy, or there's something he's not telling us. Oh. Hey, boss. Just inspecting the casks. <laughs> uh, looks like you've been doing the same. Uh... Well, it's bad luck to drink alone. What are we drinking to? To the lamplighters. Oh, you're a lamplighter drunk. Well, the casks look good, so uh, I'll just take this bottle and go. The undrawn hand. It responded to them. I hoped, but I didn't expect. What do these mercenaries have in common with the lamplighters of old? All questions are answered at the bottom of a bottle. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me. The lamplighters were heroes. Paragons. We stood for something. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough to stand against the banished court. And now I'm all that's left. This world is fresh out of heroes, Captain, and the court is closing in. So I must go to war. Not with the lamplighters, but with scoundrels, thieves, and killers. A losing hand. But they're the only cards I have left. Now this must be some damn good scotch. If this is the game I must play, I will play it to the bitter end. The Great War proved that the court could withstand a cavalry charge. Let's see how it fares against Knives in the Dark. Recruiting agents. Locke has le leads on two new potential agents, combat medic Anna Sofia Rodriguez and occult assassin Celestine. Expand his roster of agents by running either of their recruitment missions, now available on the world map. Recruitment missions will appear throughout the campaign. They grant extra skill points to help the new agent catch up. Only Anna Sofia uh, or Celestine can be recruited this week. The other will uh, have to go to ground, at least for now. So that's it for this episode. But as always, subscribe if you're not, leave a comment for the algorithm and like the video for support. Check back next weekday for the continuation. Cheers!